so, yes, sir, and then I'll come to you very quickly, if you could. Yeah, I agree with this guy about healing comes from within. within. Yeah. And I would love to see scientists work closely with people that meditate on a regular basis in connection with changes in spiritual consciousness. OK, spiritual consciousness. Right at the end there, in front, gentleman with the tie. Hello. Hello. Uh, I would say there was important issue put here, money. And I would say I have faith in science of 19th century when nobody said, and pay for it. Who pays for science now? Quite often, especially with the pharmaceutical companies, we find comp somebody who pays money wants effect like this. You like, you know, the companies which pay for the science right now, they say, this is a science which we pay you okay. for. Kim, you're looking for uh, Oliver in a second. Kim, you're, uh, Oliver first. That's very gentleman. Yeah, uh, Oli yes, Oliver. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, just to go back onto something I think touches on climate change, but also homeopathy, is I yeah. think arguing about what isn't, isn't a science isn't the most productive way forward, because this six out of ten figure that you quoted at the start yeah. of the segment, that, in a lot of cases, people who doubt, uh, doubt that the, we're making man-made climate change, don't think they're doubting science. They have faith in science. They have what they see as a faith in alternative science, which is a science that says climate change isn't man-made. So it isn't a case of, is this science or should we have faith minority in Minority view. It, well, it's, it's a minority view, but they'll say it's still science. Einstein was a minority view and he was a scientist. That, that's not to say that they're right from my point of view. But what <laughs> yeah. I would say is that the way to tackle this debate is not to say, let's have more faith in what we see as the scientific consensus, but let's have less faith in everything. Let's put everything out on the table. Let's have a full discussion, not, I mean, the IPCC does you know, fantastic work with, with scientists and policy makers. So we should have, should we have Tim up against uh, Nigel Lawson? Not, that... So not this, not this equal views in the media no, thing. No, no. Actually, large yeah. collections of people talking, not just after, you know, reports are published. No that's thing. what happens. But, Consensus statements in science, because otherwise you're just saying it's, it's, it's anything goes. The basis of science on p contentious public policy issues yeah. is you create a consensus statement. We had it over MMR, for example, mm -hmm. where a fraudster alleged that MMR caused autism and bowel disease. Andrew Wakefield, okay? yeah, yeah. Andrew yeah. Wakefield. Mm -hmm. And caused a lot of work to be done, and mm -hmm. consensus statements came out, OK, from people who wanted to agree, because there's prizes to be got for, for breaking an initial consensus. Nobelprize.org, so, anyone, exactly. if you can. So I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying these consensus <laughs> discussions don't happen, and they, they just, happen largely amongst scientists, policymakers, okay, and no. behind often closed doors, particularly with the IPCC, because it, the uh, science I, is so complicated uh, well, uh, and the policy, policy is so complicated. Policy makers. Policy makers. Policy makers. <laughs> is, this isn't the problem, I'm sorry to point at you, isn't the problem that so many policy makers and politicians, your good self accepted perhaps, cannot look beyond the electoral cycle? No, I don't think that is the problem. I, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of politicians would like to make decisions based on, on, on proper science, on good sciences as it's been called today. The problem, it seems to me, is we get confused about this. You, I hate wind generators. The damn things are across our landscapes, polluting our hills and our lovely areas. But I believe in what the professor is saying about climate change. I believe it absolutely. I just think we're coming up with very bad solutions to it. You're conflicted, are you? I'm conflicted about it, of course. Of course I am. I don't want to see my landscape destroyed in South Wales as it was destroyed by coal owners putting tips on it. And now we've got these damn, terribly inefficient, subsidised white windmills everywhere. That doesn't make me a reaction. John, John, we've got a minute left. Jonathan. I think it's important to remember that scientists are human, which means that they have self-interests, they have politics, they have beliefs, they have prejudices, and that's one of the reasons why over history the scientific consensus changes. You know, they all believed in eugenics, they all believed in phlogiston. They all Lots believe in eugenics. I mean, the, the consensus was that at the time, and it changes. Tim, Tim last word. I just Not need to say, the Very IPCC, quickly. there's no... They don't come into it trying to prove climate change. What it is is a review of the scientific literature on climate. And scientific literature means it's been through what's called a peer review process. So it's, it's been yeah. scrutinised by, by, by other scientists. So I, all IPCC is saying, what is out there in the scientific literature about climate? And overwhelmingly, the view is that it's a serious problem. Thank you very much, and Professor. Thank you all very much indeed. Uh, as always, debates will continue online and on Twitter. Back on April the 27th from York for now. It's goodbye from Bristol. Have a really good Easter break. And thank you for watching. <laughs>